Today's best practices lead to dead ends. The best paths are the new and untried. Peter Thiel was right. His insight applies not just to startup entrepreneurs, but to existing businesses and think tanks. When the digital revolution disrupted the idea business, the Atlas Society disrupted itself. Instead of continuing to follow the best practices of thought pieces and speeches, we embraced bold, persistent experimentation. We adapted successful viral models like Draw My Life videos, published graphic novels, then animated them, produced comedic video shorts, created edgy memes, hosted living history events, conquered Comic-Cons, and tapped new distribution channels from prison libraries to homeschooling hubs. We don't bemoan or berate changing consumer trends, we pounce on them, producing accessible content like pocket guides, desktop calendars, and merchandise from laptop stickers to pet fashion to yoga gear. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and now TikTok and Clubhouse. We brought our memes, animation, ask me anythings, and live chats where the audience lives and in the forms they want to consume. We have produced 25 Draw My Life videos with over 12 million views. On Facebook alone, our following has grown 300% in the last five years. More importantly, each single piece of content we post draws an average of 20,000 comments, shares, and reactions, as much as 40 times the engagement of similar organizations with staffs and budget many times our size. And then we did it all over again in Spanish with Sociedad Atlas, with videos, interviews, and social media for our growing Latin American audience. But we didn't stop there. Today, we continue to test new audiences in India, the Middle East, Europe, and Asia. We've even set our sights on Mars. We don't preach to the converted, but cast a wide net for the intellectually curious who otherwise might never encounter these ideas outside the confines of the postmodern classroom. If we look and sound different than other Liberty nonprofits, that's because we are different. Like that young woman who left Soviet Russia for a country she dreamed of, who wrote novels like none other before her who stood as an uncompromising radical in the face of conventional critics, who created a philosophy that continues to inspire minds, young and old, the world over. We win when we are bold. We win when audiences engage. The Atlas Society stepped out into the untried and realized this is where we belong. Join us.